So, here we have another problem uh, a previous one from laws of motion it says the pulleys and the strings shown in this uh, figure that you see here are smooth. What do you mean by smooth? There is no friction absolutely between any of the contacts between the string and the, and the pulleys here right and the pulleys are of negligible mass. Remember this, this, this term uh, really means a lot in a lot of problems because if they do not give you mass and if the pulley has some mass then the entire problem changes right. So, here the pulleys have negligible mass right. Now, for this system to remain in equilibrium, what do you mean by equilibrium? Nothing is moving, everything is at rest right. So, if the system has to be at rest or in equilibrium, then the angle theta should be right. Only for a particular angle theta, this will happen right. In fact, even if you neglect air resistance and under gravity, if you just disturb it and leave it, after some time it will everything, everything will balance and it will come down to the stable equilibrium position right. So, what is this theta in, 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 in this form of equilibrium right. So, uh, for that we will start drawing the free body diagram for each block here. You have this M. On M, there is a tension which acts on the string T and Mg acts on it, right. The same, same string is passing through this, right. So, the tension on this 2M also that you see here, the tension will be T on 2M also because the same string is passing. In fact, let me take this as T1 because these strings, the string is the same, it is T1. Let this be, let this tension here be T2 because the string is different, but this string is same, right. So, so if the string is same and uh, it is an ideal string that in every point on the string will have the same tension. That is why be it this or this, both of them will have T, uh, T2, right. So, here you have a T2 and then uh, an angle theta and a theta here. And if you look at the third mass, this is your T2 and this is your Mg, right. On, and on this root 2 M also, there is a root 2 Mg acting. Let us look at first body. None of the bodies are moving. So, the first body also is at rest. So, it is T1 equal to Mg, only then it will be at rest, right. The forces have to balance. Similarly, T2 for the third body also has to be Mg, only then the body will be at rest. So, I got these conditions, right. In fact, I got that T1 equal to T2, right. So, even if it was not given to you that theta is, both of them are not thetas, right. What you have to do is actually split, split this into components. If I, if I gave you something like this, if I gave you an alpha and a beta here, then what you would do is T1 sin alpha is in this direction on root 2m, T1 sin alpha is in this direction and T2 sin beta is in this direction. And then this you could say is T1 plus T2 sin alpha plus beta, right. So, T1 sin alpha plus T2 sin beta, sorry T2 cos alpha plus T2 cos beta and root 2 mg, right. Now, because I have assumed that these thetas are equal, in fact it is given in the question also, even if it was not, then you would say T1 equal to T2, right. So, T1 equal to T2, so sin alpha also has to be sin beta. So, alpha has to be equal to beta and both of them have to be some theta, right. So, even, even if it is not given, you can assume. So, now because it is given, I will repro replace alpha and beta with thetas here. So, first of all, these have to take place, right. So, because alpha is equal to beta and T1 equal to T2, this will always take place. So, I do not I don't even need to verify. But for the vertical thing, T1 cos theta plus T2 cos theta is equals to root 2 mg. Now, T1 is mg and T2 is also mg. So, mg cos theta plus mg cos theta is equals to root 2 mg. Cancelling mg is here, what I have is 2 cos theta is equals to root 2. So, cos theta is equals to root 2 by 2 which is 1 by root 2. So, your theta has to be 45 degrees. The correct answer should be 45 degrees.